In the Naruto series, we have met a lot of clans that made the show very interesting and captivating to watch. The history of some of the clans was very crucial to the lore of the series, and one of them was the Uzumaki clan. Despite being the clan of the main character, we know so little about it, which in fact got destroyed long before the series even started. And this is the topic I want to talk about today. But before starting, I want to ask you all to like this video and subscribe to this channel for more. I hope you all have a great day. Now let's start the video. The Uzumaki clan was formerly a prominent clan in Uzushiogakure. Its members were renowned for having bright red hair and possessing incredibly strong life forces and chakra. Since its disbandment, most of its known members reside in Konohagakure. Because of the fact that Uzumaki clan members were descendants of Ashura Otsutsuki, they shared distant blood relations with the Senju clan. Due to this relation, they kept close ties with each other and with members, at times marrying between clans, as with Hashirama Senju and Mito Uzumaki. Following the founding of Konohogakure at the end of the Warring States period, the Senju chose to symbolize their clan's friendship by adding the Uzumaki's emblem to Konoha's flak jackets. Konoha and the Uzumaki's own Uzushiogakure remained close allies over the following decades, with the Uzumaki providing fuinjutsu, among other things, to Konoha whenever there was a need. In time, the Uzumaki clan's mask storage temple was even constructed on Konoha's outskirts. But despite being close allies of the Hidden Leaf, the strongest village, this clan got wiped out long before the series had started. But when and how did it happen? Well, the Uzumaki clan was renowned throughout the world for their prowess in Fuinjutsu, which, when you think about it, is quite fearsome. They were direct descendants of the Sage of Six Paths' son, Ashura Otsutsuki, and because of that, they had inherited a strong physical body and longevity. They had a lot of overpowered and scary abilities, such as being able to summon Reaper Death Seal, which is a sealing technique to call upon the Shinigami. Besides that, in the Uzumaki Temple, we could see 27 different masks, each of which likely enables the user to summon 27 different otherworldly spiritual beings like Shinigami, and Uzumaki Clan ninjas were most likely able to summon all of them. Besides that, they also possess the Adamantine Sealing Chains, which is an ability that is used to subdue tailed beasts. They also have the ability of Healing Bite, which is this very overpowered healing ability, since it seems only one bite on an Uzumaki clan member is enough to fully recover from an injury. But probably the biggest problem that the nations had with the Uzumaki clan was their alliance with the Hidden Leaf. Konoha village was already the strongest out of the five, even without the Uzumaki clan, since most of the strong clans, like the Senju and Uchiha, were its members. With the addition of the Uzumaki clan, the Hidden Leaf seemed a truly unstoppable force in the ninja world. Also, I think the whole situation with the Uzumaki clan and the Hidden Leaf was very strange. Why did Konoha need someone from the Uzumaki clan to act as a Jinchuriki when they had the Senju clan? Hashirama and Tobirama alone could come up with a seal strong enough to seal the Kyubi inside Hashirama, a guy with very strong chakra and everything else you can think of. I'm thinking that the Uzumaki did not want to move into the village, but at the same time wanted to retain good relations with the beast known as Hashirama. Mito was essentially sold to Konoha and became their Jinchuriki. Should a conflict occur between Konoha and the Uzumaki, Mito would be the hidden weapon Uzushiogakure has in Konoha. She would unleash the Kyubi at the risk of her own life. Why would Konoha agree to that though? Because Hashirama could defeat the Kyubi, it wasn't such a big risk. He was the Hokage, and as such would stay within the village. It seems one of the deals between Uzushiogakure and Konoha was the supplement of the tailed beast Jinchuriki, since every Jinchuriki of the Nine Tails was from the Uzumaki clan. Besides supplying Jinchuriki for the tailed beasts, Uzumaki also seemed to be the ones who were teaching Hidden Leaf Ninja Fuinjutsu, since a lot of high-ranked Hidden Leaf Ninja like Minato and Hiruzen know the Uzumaki clan techniques. And also, Ashina Uzumaki, leader of Uzushiogakure and the Uzumaki clan, was said to be the forefather of the Hidden Leaf's Fuinjutsu. Thus, destroying the Uzushiogakure village would weaken the Hidden Leaf very much. But still, how and why did the village get destroyed so suddenly? It seems that the main reason for its destruction are the Uzumaki themselves and no one else. When we look at them, they seem very calm and monk-like ninjas, but it seems we are wrong. According to Kushina in Naruto chapter 500, she said that her clan's folk excelled at sealing techniques. 
However, they were a bit savage and battle-hungry. This single statement reminded me of the Kaguya clan, which is a now extinct clan known for their savage battle tactics and archaic values. And as descendants of Kaguya Otsutsuki, a select few have inherited a derivative of her original ability to manipulate one's bone structures. The clan was noted for being very savage and battle-hungry, having no tactics when entering battle that they initiated simply to show off their ferocity. It was due to this failed attempt to prove themselves that the entire clan was killed off when attacking Kirigakure. Even when surrounded and completely outmatched, they refused to back down, preferring to fight to the death simply to entertain their own bloodlust. Kimimaro was the only one of the clan to survive, as he did not share the same urge for barbaric slaughter as the others. And after being adopted by Orochimaru, he would live as the last of the Kaguya clan for several years, but eventually died of a terminal illness. We can also see this characteristic in almost every Uzumaki member. For example, Karin is often depicted as being violent and critical. Kushina was also often seen as the person who is short-tempered and occasionally lashed out violently at others if they angered her. Nagato showed his savage side basically every time he was pain. He especially expressed his violent side against Hanzo after slaughtering every member of Hanzo's army and every relative of his. So we can see that this savagery is very characteristic of the Uzumaki clan members, and we have seen it from time to time, but still, how could it be a problem? Well, in the fourth Naruto data book, in Kushina's backstory, it was written that she was growing up during the turbulent civil war years, which means Uzushio was undergoing civil war when she was there. The word civil war means a war between citizens of the same country, which means, for some unknown reasons, Uzumaki members started to fight against one another. I think this was the perfect opportunity for the enemies of the Hidden Leaf and Uzushiogakure to band together in order to destroy this legendary clan, which was weakened because of their civil war. But why didn't the Hidden Leaf help arguably their biggest ally? Well, I think they knew about the savage side of the Uzumaki clan, and when the civil war began, Konoha decided to be neutral and inactive, because it was not their business. If they did anything, it would look like Konoha was declaring Uzushio as a part of their village. When the other villages attacked, the Hidden Leaf knew that no matter what they did, they would not be able to win that battle, since by that time the Hidden Leaf was very weakened. Hashirama, Tobirama, and Madara, three of the strongest ninja of their time, were dead. Plus, they were losing their biggest ally in the form of the Uzumaki clan, and they did not want their casualties to increase in a battle where they knew that they had no chance of winning. Plus, fighting against all the other villages would only make diplomatic relations worse. And that's why I think Konoha decided not to do anything when Uzushio Gakure was being wiped out. The Uzumaki clan has been one of the most interesting clans in the Naruto-verse, and I gotta say I'm very disappointed that they got such little screen time, and the reason why they got destroyed in the first place was their characteristic battle-hungry nature. I wish we learned more about them, and I do hope that in Boruto we'll hear more information about the legendary clan. Anyway, I guess this is all for today. What do you think about the Uzumaki clan? 